Wisdom Zerlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers, welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya and today, welcome back. We are introducing a three-part series fam to hit your inbox right meow in rapid fire order. The first video of this series is discussing the sun as it enters a new sign. What is the meaning of that? The second video in the series that will come after this video is going to answer the question, what does it mean that the sun just entered Virgo as just happened today as I'm filming, which coincidentally is at the same time we just had a full moon, a blue moon in Aquarius. You can check out videos I've done on that for more information. And video number three is going to cover seasonality and the sun and how the sun's transit through various signs actually determines the seasons. Before we do jump in, make sure you're subscribed. If you are new here, I do put out a video every day of the week and in the rare event I miss, I put out interesting series such as this. Make sure you hit the like button because it's the groovy thing to do and sharing is caring. If this video brings you any value, thank you to those of you who honor my request to do that. It means so much. I appreciate you. And, you know, moving forward, the real meaning of this video, right, is the sun entering a new sign. Today, the sun entered Virgo. What does it mean? Well, when the sun enters a new sign, it's an indicator that the collective consciousness and our collective information system, our collective inner knowing that we can tap into at any given time that connects us with a higher power, that with an inner truth, right? It changes. And what that means is that we find our consciousness falling or rising as it may be into different energetic patterns. Okay. And that means that as a collective, our stories and how life seems to unfold the vibe that life, um, the, the path it takes quite literally, because the sun is the plot line, right in a chart. And at any given moment in time, all of that takes a change. So when the sun changes signs, it is yes, another month in the calendar, but it is in and of itself a miniature season, not to conflate this video with number three, of course, in the sequence. With that said, the sun entering a new sign is going to encourage you to have a fresh beginning. There will be a certain sense of a newness. There is a certain sense of we're not in home anymore, Dorothy. Like we're in a different environment all of a sudden. Like it's not what it just was for the last few weeks. Now the energy has shifted. The more you're intuitive, the more you feel that sort of thing. Uh, the moon changes signs every two and a half days. The sun changes signs every 28 to 30, something like 30 days, 30 days, because it's a, it's a tick a day. It's more predictable, right? So hence the variance in the number of days in any given Gregorian calendar year. All that aside, the sun entering a new sign is to indicate it's a fresh new start to approach that area or house in your chart um, with a higher knowledge. Uh, it's another year lessons learned. If you look at a tree, it's another ring of growth that happened in, in the single year, right? So it's another revolution around the 12 signs. When that sun enters a new sign in your chart, it's signifying it's time to ref refresh, revamp, and revitalize whatever area of your chart the sun is transiting in. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Make sure you like this video before you do us out of here. Subscribe if you vibe as we as build a tribe on the interwebs. And with that said, may the stars forever be with you. Peace.